and you're watching Nerdwire's Video Vault. Who are you? Always. Always? Welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you. Neptune Records. Woo! Molly, who else is in Always? Alec. Hey. Abby. Howdy. Carrie Jen. Hello. Sheridan. Hey. And together you are all? Always. Always! <laughs> exactly. And right off the bat, Always, I have a gift for you. The greatest picture ever. Ever. Who is in the greatest picture ever? Somebody that you have met. Anne Murray, John Lennon. I don't know. Is that. Uh, I don't know who that Nielsen. is. Nielsen. Oh, Harry. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm and sorry. Mickey, Mickey Dolan. Mickey Dolan. Yeah. The Monkeys and Al. I don't know who that is. Alice. Coops. Oh, wow. Alice Cooper. Without the eyeliner. And I think this shot actually came about because the manager of Anne Murray also was the manager of Alice Cooper. She looks great. But you've met Anne Murray, haven't you? Like, Anne Murray, please, could you extol the virtues of Anne Murray? <laughs> Poise. Power. Yeah. In what context did you meet her? When did that happen? I've met her a few times once when I was little and I was obsessed with the Adams family and I grabbed her arm and kissed all the way up her arm because they did that in the Adams Family, I guess, and she took it like a champ. And then I met her when I was probably 19, and I was touring with my family called the Rankin Family, and her daughter was opening for them. And she came to one of the shows, and she said, Molly never smiles. <laughs> No, that's amazing, because Anne Murray also at one time had Seinfeld open for her. What? Yes! <laughs> How did you know this? She paved the way. Well, you're always, we have to know. <laughs> cool. But again, Anne Murray, that's a gift for you. Could you explain a bit about the lighting for this tour? Do you have the lighting, the lighting for the Always tour? Were you there? At the show? Well, you were always. We have to be at every show. What? You didn't say hi? <laughs> Were you there? Could you please explain the LD? <laughs> oh, uh, his name's Adam. And uh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Um, he's like a, he's from New Orleans. And uh, our friend Colby Richardson did all the projections with us, sort of like in a living room um, on a wall. We took all the paintings off of the wall and projected stuff for a week. He's from Regina. Uh, Colby, our, our uh, projectionist guru. Um, and uh, we've left him in the dust temporarily, but he'll be back. Um, he left us in the dust. Right? He did, yeah. And Alec, I have a gift for you right here, a Spaceman 3 record. And what can you say about Spaceman 3 and Always? Um, we love them. We love Sonic Boom and uh, Jay Spaceman. Um, they play Offset uh, guitars like we do, Jaguars and the like. Um, I think we might have hit up uh, Sonic Boom to see if he wanted to collabo, as the kids say. But uh, what happened? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we might have emailed uh, Jay as well, but uh, yeah, struck out over two. So who knows? Maybe next decade. But that's a gift for you. Thank you so much. This is a great record. Perfect prescription. Love it. Love the whole discog. You're also into the TV personalities. Yeah. What can I say about them? Um, a bomb's gone off at the BBC. That's probably my favorite song. I don't know. What do you got planned? Uh, well, how did you get into them? Um, I don't know. Like, Potties and Chelsea was on one time, and I just was obsessed with that song. But um, And then he's just like sort of this strange, tortured brainiac, which I love. You have torturing brainiacs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want to take it all the way back to Halifax. This seven inch has Sloan, Eric's Trip, Jail, and ID De Nord on it. What can you say about the Halifax scene? Sloan, Sloan. 
Indeed, Sloan, great band. Eric's Trip. Never mind the mollusks. Yeah, E.T. Uh, they were Sackville adjacent. Yeah, loved loved that whole pop explosion scene. It slightly predated our time, but the first video I remember watching on Much Music was a Sloan video. Maybe everything you've done wrong. That classic uh, wedding dance vid. Yeah, it was mentored kind of by Joel Plaskett from Thrush Hermit a little bit. He's a good buddy. Um, I've never heard of this. Never mind the mollusks. That's incredible. What's your interactions been with Sloan? Did you ever see Sloan in early days? <laughs> yes, I was once in an elevator as a child when Sloan came in. And uh, Chris Murphy had his jacket on inside out. And I thought it was very strange. No, they shared managers, Chip, with the Rankin family. Is that how that happened in an elevator? How old were you? <laughs> I was probably like six years old. Um, but yeah, we know Chip. Chip's around. And um, yeah, what else? Like, we know Patrick. The other two, I don't know so much, but everything has been friendly. And then Alec has like a funny little story about playing before Sloan at some like crazy. A new Glasgow jamboree? That might have been the one, yeah. The, Where you played clean up to Sloan? Yeah, we had to go on. They went on at midnight, came off the stage at 1.30 in New Glasgow, which is a small Nova Scotia town, and uh, closed with Money City Maniacs, you know, which now plays at Raptors games in the final two minutes. It's a crowd pleaser, as you know. And uh, it was a triumphant moment in a very small town, and uh, Chris Murphy came off stage with a girl on each arm. Somehow, I don't know where they came from, but he walked by me, you know, adoring. Now, what band were you in? Uh, my high school band. It was called Two Hours Traffic, and uh, we were ready to go with their instruments side stage, just witnessing this maritime pandemonium. You were headlining, doing cleanup after Sloan. Yeah, yeah, in a town of 20,000, maybe. And Chris Murphy comes off stage and he passes by and he takes a look back and he's like, follow that, bitch. <laughs> it was it crushed me a little, um, but uh, it made me the man I am. Yeah, the next time he saw me, he was like, it was like 10 years later, he's like, we good? <laughs> now, speaking of Sloan, Carrie, I want to ask about this picture right here. Oh there, is, there is Chris Murphy of the band Sloan. Yes. And it's on the Ralph Ben Murky show in 1992, but he's wearing a t-shirt. Yes, I've never seen this photo, but I heard about it. And what is happening there? He, Chris Murphy's wearing a shirt with my brother-in-law's name on it, Tom Daniels. I think they like grew up together, kind of. They were friends when they were little. And I, yeah, we were very excited to know this existed. Oh my God, funny. <laughs> So there is your sister's husband. husband's yeah. name, yeah. and he's like a professor of music now. Yeah, he still rips on the guitar. He's a jazz, mostly jazz player. Yeah, he's an incredible musician. And your sister had some songs written for her by Molly's dad? Oh yeah, Gabrielle's Jig. Yeah, her name's Gabrielle McClellan, and uh, dad just wrote like a bunch of tunes for the people that he... New and loved, so it's a great jig. Yes, one of the best. And I have a gift for you right here, the Cotters from 2002. If you could open it up right now, you can put that down if you want. If you could open up the booklet, what do we see inside there? Do you remember the Cotters, Molly, while she's opening it up? Of course I remember the Cotters. Um, they took the Celtic world by storm, but I don't know where they are now. We went to the Gala College, and they were there, and they performed, and they brought the house. Because they were very young in yeah. the picture. What do we see right there? Oh, Gabrielle's jig. Your sister. Yes. And that's a gift for you. Thank you. Written by your dad. Indeed. Amazing. On the Cothers. <laughs> nice work making the connections. Now, also, Molly, we have Abby in the band. Yes. What can you see about Abby? Much taller than me um, and a much better musician and was also in La Luz and has solo projects, as does Sheridan. <laughs> and Abby, what can you say about Molly? Molly's spectacular. Every night when I listen to her sing, I'm taken aback. 
And Abby, you were from Seattle, Washington, and I thought I would give you a gift, a 1962 original Seattle World's Fair postcard. Postcard. Which also you use kind of, well, World's Fair 1939 New York in a La Lewis video. Oh, okay. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> Sheridan. Yeah. I have a gift for you. No way. Yes. We have right here an original reissue from 1964 of... Oh, my goodness. Alvin Jones and Coltrane. Yeah, they're they're kind of dynamic, aren't they? They're yeah, what can you say about Elvin Jones playing drums? Uh, really changed the instrument. Really, uh, my like my favorite. Uh, really good. Um, yeah. Well, his thing was like he like made a joke about like how he can't. No one can just transcribe what he does, including him. But he always keeps time with whatever he's doing. I don't, I mean, he's, he's a really good drummer. <laughs> like, he's, he's a big deal. We have the same birthday. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. You didn't know that, did you? I did not. What, what, when was that? When was your birthday? It's also Adam Sandler's birthday. <laughs> what the hell? It's, it's September 9th. Yeah. Um, but Elvin Jones, um, amazing. Gretsch, Gretsch drums, uh, you know, Love Supreme, pretty pretty transformative record for, for a lot of people. And that's a gift for you, some Elvin Jones. Thank you, thank you so much. Always, Belinda says. You have a video. Yes. Now what's amazing is that video, Muck, could you please explain, Muck? Oh, we wanted to do the logo of Much Music, but we didn't want to get sued, so we drew a little quick version of it and just added a K uh, as opposed to the H. Now, could you explain for people that don't understand Much Music, what is, what was Much Music? Well, I think people from America would be familiar with MTV before it became all reality shows. They played music videos and had performances of rock bands. Much Music, very similar. But, uh huge point of cultural reference for people, I guess, our age. And I have a gift for you, always, to bring it back to much music, some big, shiny tunes. Sweet. And what can you say about big, shiny tunes and much music? I listened to this recently in the car with my brother, and it was sweet. Um, this is, is there an MTV equivalent to this? There must be. It would seem they, you know, were downstream from them, but they may have led the charge on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, now, or, sorry, not now. Uh, Big Shiny Tunes 2 and 3 were the peak of the genre. Who <laughs> really know your tunes? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, check out track 2 on uh, number 7 there, Carrie. That's uh, near and dear to Carrie's heart. But this is the logo that you kind of aped mock much, right? Yeah, you could see how an H could quickly become a K. Um, and I think Molly drew that in the airport at Pearson right before. Yeah, I bring pencil crayons everywhere I go. Because I need to rip off a corporate logo. <laughs> it's a good hobby. <laughs> it's a good hobby, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, Muck, because I guess we were a little slimier than what you would typically see on much music back in the day. Though this gets pretty... Oh, you got some Sloan on here, Money City Maniacs. Can't, can't shake it. Dragula. Ooh, love. <laughs> Dragula is sweet. Rob Zombie. <laughs> Were you considering calling your record Big Shiny Tunes 10? Oh. Good idea. Yeah, maybe next record. Baboom. And also, I have another gift for you. Much didn't stop. Look at this. Much oh. dance mix. Yeah. I'm familiar with the remixes they used to do of like, do you remember that Whitney Houston song? It was like, pack your bags up and leave. Remember that was like... And Much Dance 97 was big in our house. Yeah. You guys really know you're much, yeah. don't you? Like, this is 95. But if you could, could you open this one up for a second? But you were saying 97 was big? Yeah, I I remember, like, Notorious B.I.G. was on it. I can't remember many details, but... well. And with Master T there. Yeah, he would host Rap City, I believe. Yeah, he was the OG for sure. Um, you guys were listening to Love Inc. off one of these uh, dance mixes. Yeah, it was a big pandemic hit for us. Which song? Love Inc. What song? Uh, Broken, Broken Bones. Bones. Yeah. yeah, Broken Bones. DJ Chris Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's amazing the legacy calling it muck like on it's on muck yes it had a huge impact much music it was all we had i think to watch did you have a fave dj at all um i remember really liking bradford (laughs) (laughs) i thought rick was cool uh hannah was cool um nem or was it nam 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 yeah i mean uh also uh, yeah george stromalopoulos was it right yeah uh, Sookian was great. Um, Devin Sultan Diak. Oh, yeah. Do you guys feel left out because you are American? <laughs> Absolutely. Do you have any idea what they're talking about? I'm so sorry. Uh, no, but it's, it's, it's cute. It's cool. Did they explain muck to you at all? No. Like, oh. Muck versus much, did they explain? I've never heard of any of this stuff before. <laughs> and I have a gift for you, Molly, from Cape Breton Island, Joe McIsaac. Okay. An original Joe McIsaac record. And I was wondering, could he possibly be related to Ashley? Ooh, good question. That's a sweet tartan blazer. I don't know, Joe, though. Um, this is cool, though. I'm always looking for Celtic vinyl. Yeah, what can you say about, you know, the Celtic vinyl scene in Cape Breton? Um, I actually don't know how they even had it made or where it came from, but any time that I find something, I usually grab it. I also find children love Celtic music. Mm-hmm. So it's like a nice thing to put on when people bring their kids over to my apartment or whatever. Now, Molly, you've mentioned fiddle. Is dancing important? Like Scottish step dancing? Yeah. I mean, that's sort of like how you start. That's like the first thing you learn how to do, in my experience. Could you demonstrate some of the fiddle dancing, the step dancing? What do you want? Well, I was curious, some stuff that you would do while you were fiddling. Oh, I don't do that. That's like next level. Like I can I can do a square set or like even if people get up at the end of the night and do their thing and they do like maybe two minutes of step. Well, if you could step right over here, Molly, and demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, you're just dragging me out here doing this. Well, what do you want? You want like a fast a thing? Crab walk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, this is like a hot dog trick where you like do this thing. Whoa. But that's like not actual. I don't think that's taken seriously, really. It's a crab walk? I think that was called the crab walk. That's what we call it. Yeah. I don't know. Carrie can dance too. No. I can't. And can I you show us a little bit? A little bit, Carrie? <laughs> Absolutely not. But I More don't. Molly. More Molly, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else? What else? Can you show us one other dance? Um, yeah. I mean, I could do like a. Do you want like a Strath Bay or a reel or a jig? I, a Gabriel's jig. Oh, yeah. You can. You want to hum that? No. no. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, um, I'll do a Strass Bay. This is like a, that's like a really basic move that you learn, and then you add some stuff in there, and then you get like a, that kind of thing. And then you go faster when when the tunes get faster. So you are doing that while fiddling? Do a lot of people do it while fiddling? Some people do. I can't do that. Natalie McMaster is known for that. Yeah, and I think her kids can also do it. Yeah. yeah. While playing. Yeah, but like this, that, I never did that. Like I was never, I could never. That's like next level stuff. But you're in all? Ways. Yeah. <laughs> Alec, Prince Edward. Island. An important band and a gift for you, the band Haywire from Prince Edward Island. Hello. 1987. What can you say about metal? 1987. Haywire. Bands. Um, They were PEI's biggest export. Yeah, they ripped uh, Black and Blue. Yeah, that's on there. Hell yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, Dave's Ronnie Schweitzer. Dave Rashid now plays organ at the uh, Catholic Cathedral in Charlottetown. Some of them worked at Long and McQuaid musical instruments store um yeah ripping they were a real unicorn and had uh, um cohesive hair and that's a gift for you pei's number one band from 1987 yeah they ripped that is hair metal if you ever saw it thank you no problem and i was also wondering this band strawberry can you tell anybody about strawberry these dudes Predated my thing too a little bit, but um, I know the band. They became uh, Eyes for Telescopes. Uh, Pat Dean in the band now runs 
Trailside. Uh, he also ran Back Alley Music uh, in Charlottetown. Um, this is killer. Wow, this looks incredible. An important band, Haywire versus, and of course we have Plum Tree there, from Strawberry. Amazing. How did you find this? This is wild. Well, you're always. We have to find stuff. Thank you. This is great. This is so cool. And Kerry, you worked construction at a graveyard? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, not, I wouldn't say that. But me and my cousin Archie worked at like a community center. And we would have to do some landscaping at the graveyard. It was very demeaning. Very demeaning work. <laughs> But not construction, no. I've never worked construction. Didn't you guys like find some what you thought were crops in the graveyard at one point? Yeah, we thought we found like onions and we dug them all up and presented them to our boss and she was like, That is tulips. <laughs> <laughs> So we weren't very good at it. Well, I have a gift for you, Carrie. A Trogs LP. Oh, sweet. What can you say about the Trogs, 1966? Um, I love the Trogs. I don't have any of their records. This is awesome. Um, yeah, Our Love Will Still Be There. That's one of my favorite songs. Yeah. What do you think about the outfits? Amazing, eh? Oh, wow. Yeah, so cool. I like when bands really lean into the kitschy aspect of what they're doing. Sweet. Kind of clown. <laughs> Clown-like. <laughs> and the Sackville Legion Hall. <laughs> yes. Sackville is a legendary place with a thriving art scene and the universities there. So we played Sappy Fest. We played the Legion. Uh, actually, funny story about that um, one night that, that that night everyone seemed to be like on something. And um, this this girl carrie had was yelling molly molly in the middle of the set and uh, this girl had torn down the always banner off of the stage while we were performing <laughs> and i had to like chase her down on stage and have a tug of war with her to get the flag out of her hands <laughs> but hopefully we don't have to do that like ever again while the song is playing while you're playing i think it was i like that i made you do it <laughs> story of our friendship is like I do like the intense well, you got it back <laughs> we got it back yeah and I I also like I heard from other people that like she was really bummed out uh, that like that it had escalated to that point you know <laughs> she didn't think you'd go after it I don't think she thought she was gonna do what she did and that I was also going to like fight for the flag Always. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Well, you got us a bunch of gifts, so we thought we'd bring something for you. Um, this is this is uh, a little thing that we cooked up. You're now part of my family in uh, on the cover of of our album. Oh me! There's the nerd putting out from a life jacket. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to wear it, but it, That's if you, if you could start wearing it in your interviews, I think we'd really appreciate it. Yeah. Now, what should I tell people in what context? Like, what's happening there? Um, this is you being pulled off a boat on a family trip, and my dad is trying to get you up onto the wharf. And the mom is... <laughs> Lovingly looking at you after a beautiful outing together. That's amazing. Like, East Coast and West Coast coming together. Yeah. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you always. Thank you. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, life jacket. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you. Always. Why should people care about always? They don't have to, but um, songs. I like songs, and, uh, and I think everyone could use a good love song every once in a while. Well, thanks so much, always. Keep on washing your hands in the free world and do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> yep. This isn't photo, is it? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> 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 My face hurts. <clears throat> I, uh...
you, you got really strong claws. <laughs>